What's up, guys? How's it going? Mike the Tech here. And today we're checking out a brand new program from Microsoft that's supposedly going to help you optimize and speed up your PC as well as clear uh, extra hard drive space. So we're going to check that out today. But before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Miss Mo Dab. Thank you so much for being a channel member. If you want to join this channel and get shout outs just like this, click on that join button below. So into the video itself, Microsoft PC Manager for Windows 10, 1809 and above, and Windows 11. So it should work on um, most modern PCs that are running Windows 10 and 11 that are updated. And what can it do? It claims it can boost your PC by uh, clearing memory and temporary files. It can manage your storage and help you find uh, large files. So lots of the features we see in other types of cleaning apps. Uh, health checkup, it'll actually look for issues, uh, viruses, and items that it can clean up, as well as uh, professional antivirus protection, which is already included in Microsoft Defender. This likely just ensures that it's running, um, including the browser protection that also comes with Microsoft Defender. So we're going to try this out today and uh, see what it's like. Let's go ahead and hit download, and I'll add a link to this in the description below. And once it's finished downloading, we're going to open it up. Hit yes if you get a user access control prompt. Go ahead and hit I accept the end user agreements and hit install. This is a public beta, so there could be issues, but not likely since it's now public. They usually don't let that stuff go out if there's massive bugs, but you know, Windows. So let's go ahead and launch it now. So here's the app itself. Boost your PC performance. We have 8.8 .8 gigabytes of temporary files and 25% memory usage. Not too bad. Storage management, 272 available. It looks like it's only picking up the first drive. Can it see the other drives as well? I don't think it can switch drives. Can we switch drives here in settings? We cannot switch drives. So this is for your C drive only for some reason. It's only for your C drive unless... I'm mistaken, I will update the video if there's another way to actually switch ones, but it does look, look for large files in your C drive. So it does look like it's set to that C drive, but you know, we'll keep looking. Uh, we have health check, items to clean up, viruses, potential issues, startup apps to disable, that's very useful. Uh, if you haven't gone in recently to update your startup items and remove anything you're not using, this is a good place to do it. So I found 8.9 gigs, Windows cache 191 megabytes, uh, 650 megs of browser cache, 7.1 gigs of temporary files, and almost a gig of uh, system logs. Not too bad, actually. That's a pretty fair amount of save space. Startup apps to disable. These are the ones that are running. And unfortunately, I do need these. So I will leave these running uh, on startups. So let's go ahead and hit proceed. And now it's getting rid of all that junk on the computer and cleaning up some space. So far, so good. Let's hit done and go on to the next one. Process management it says 13 processes are running. We can see Google Chrome, Dropbox, OBS Studio, Slack. So it does tell you everything that's running on your PC. Unreal Trace Server. That's very interesting because I don't have Unreal Engine open anymore. So we can actually end that. And that'll likely, you know, save a bit of uh, processing power. So... You know, just get rid of these things that we know we're not using. Speed up the PC. That's pretty nice. And again, we have startup apps. We can actually go in and manually update our apps to say what turns on and what doesn't. Under storage management, we can do a deep clean that will actually search for all types of files, uh, including your recycling bin, your web cache, uh, system files, temporary files, things like that. Doesn't look like I have too many here, about 627 megabytes. So that's not going to, you know, make a ton of difference, but we can go ahead and proceed and clean that. And it saved almost 400 megs of space. Not too bad. Manage large files. This will help you find um, large video files on your computer, and you can see which ones will actually... Uh, be the largest, and it actually opens in File Explorer. That's really interesting. Yeah, so you can see here that it's actually bringing up the files in File Explorer, and it's organizing them uh, based on size. So we can see here it's starting a search, and it'll update as it finds larger files. So let's go back. <coughs> and we have Manage Apps. 
this links to the Windows area in case you weren't aware of where it is to actually manage, install, or uninstall apps. That's nice. Same with Storage Sense. It looks like it takes you to the actual existing Windows settings for Storage Sense, which, I mean, if it's already there, it works. That's fine. And then Security. We have Windows Update, so it'll actually check if there's any updates, and it looks like there is. So there's some virus definition updates, so let's update that. We can protect certain browsers and choose which browser is the default one here. And we can see that the boost is now uh, including the changes we made before. So since I already cleaned the temporary files, there aren't many there anymore. And since memory usage is only at 25%, and that's likely being used by my recording software, I'm not going to go ahead and do the boost right now, but that will likely help if you just started your computer and you're getting a bunch of memory usage. Give it a quick boost, start fresh, and it'll likely work just fine so thank you guys so much for watching this one uh, if you have any questions about pc manager uh, again it is in public beta so maybe you can leave some ideas of what they should add to this to make it better and uh, leave them in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and as always have a great day